So this is your seventh Pro Bowl. Anyth yeah. Is there anything special about this one in particular? Uh, I'm not sure. They're all uh, pretty special and a lot of fun. So, but uh, this one, I'm having a lot of fun at. Any um, special Pro Bowl memories? You've been to seven. You've got to have a lot of memories. Any off the field, on the field, parties, anything stand out that you can share with us? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, there's always a lot of parties and a lot of fun, and you get to meet a lot of guys that otherwise you probably wouldn't. But <laughs> other than that, uh, crazy things I've done off the field here. I went wild boar hunting one time, right in those mountains right there. And <laughs> We killed a couple uh, wild pigs, and that was a lot of fun. Any of that this year? Uh, not this year. <laughs> just uh, hanging out by the pool mostly. Gotcha. Getting the big question out of the way. Have you made a decision as far as 2016 yet, if you're coming back? Uh, not yet. I'm trying to just take my time and make the right decision. Mm -hmm. And uh, things like that usually you don't want to rush into. So. Right. Have you talked to the Bucks as far as when you're going to give them a timetable before free agency, before the draft? Have you? Right. I, I want to give them as uh, the earliest notice that I can to not put them in a tough situation. So uh, eventually they'll be the first ones to know other than my uh, wife and kids. So. Got it. Uh, new head coach this year. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? Well, it was uh, tough to see Lovey uh, get fired like that. but. Uh, I, I, I really like Dirk Cutter, and I think he'll do a good job. He did a very good job for our offense last year, and he's very capable, and it's, uh, I think it's good for him to get the opportunity. Do you think there's any, is there anything specific you can point to that tells you that he will be a good head coach since he's never done it at the NFL level before? Right. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell until that person's in that situation, but I know the way that he uh, took command of our offensive room and uh, demanded people do things the right way. So. That's what you need for him. your head coach. He, he's got to be very demanding of his players. Yeah. Uh, going back one more time to Lovey, um, I'm assuming the firing surprised you. You think you think he got a raw deal, or what is your opinion on that? I don't know. It's a uh, it's a tough business, and it always comes down to winning or losing. And it was uh, I'll I'll say I was surprised that he got fired, but uh, hey, uh, the owners they get to choose who they want to do their job, so. Uh, it's up to them. There you go. Uh, Jameis being here, um, his first Pro Bowl. Is there things he can learn from other players? Do players actually give out free advice, or is that overrated or overstated? Yeah, well, not all players do, but certain ones do. And uh, I think Jameis is on the right track, and he's uh, he's learning very fastly, and he does a great job, and he's only going to continue to get better. Most importantly, we're going to get him in a grass skirt. You think sometime this week, hula dancing? Possibly. You know, he he likes to have fun and. Uh, He's uh, he doesn't have too big an ego. He he likes to laugh at himself too. So he that's why he's a great guy. He's a he's a great teammate to have, and I, that was a very uh, one of my biggest things meeting him was how great a teammate he was, and you know I was very pleased by that.